this is where we start part two. We're just, we're just gonna watch a little bit of whatever. I paused it as soon as the, is, it gave me the notice that you know, it popped up. It's like, your video saved. So, yeah, this is definitely hit over an hour. But, yeah, so we're just gonna continue this little bit, then possibly save, and shortest part two ever. But yeah. Continue. Happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh. So you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power, the red strings, are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah. That future disappeared when Kasane came back. However... Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi, but it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? All right. It might be good to talk to Arashi. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. That was a future I didn't want to see. Okay. You seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as that exists, it's very likely that time travel exists too. What an amazing power that would be. I mean, if I could control time, I could be as lazy as I wanted. Okay, so I kind of lied about that um, ending right here. I think I am just going to play the, the phase 4 raked period. I forgot what it's called. So I'm going to check my messages and do a couple of these Bond episodes. And yeah, that'll be it. Uh... Gamma Garrison. Sorry for the Saturday message. I want to 
give you something I got from Naomi. I'll be at Masubi's. Come if you want to. Uh, yes. From Naomi? Okay, I'll meet you if that's... If it's for that. I'm heading to Masubi's now. So yeah, this... I don't really... Just be watching. That's how all these Bond episodes go. You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I would often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody has more heard about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> If only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture.
Kasame, can I ask you something? What do you usually do in your free time? My free time? I train, I guess. Me too. I guess you can't help me. My colleagues have been telling me that I need to find a hobby. I just don't like using my time for something unnecessary. Just forget I said anything. Okay. What do you think about Suo incident that Yuito was 50 years in the future mentioned? My guess is that it's referring to incidents that encompass the revolt Karen started. Although nothing has happened to Suo at this point in time. I imagine it includes the appearance of the Kuna Gate, but I wouldn't know anything beyond that. Yes, that means there's a possibility that something could have happened to Suo in the future. In any case, I have a bad feeling about it. Okay. Oh, what was that tab? Wishless. No. No, oh, okay. I guess I could tag things I want to get. Wait, what happened to the girl? Uh, Kayoka. But she had like a pink thing on her. Yeah, see? Bond. The Yuto 50 years in the future was totally different from the Yuto now. He had such a stern and somber expression. Gift. Fun snack cake. Yay. Oh, I can only give it to Rashi or Kayoka. This snack, ha this snack set has a wide variety of everybody loves like sweet cookies, salty potato chips, and chewy rice cakes. You can't wait to open it and see what's inside. You can enjoy it with family and friends, or maybe you could just keep it all to yourself. I'm gonna give it to Kayoka. Thank you. I feel like that would have been better. I want to talk to Kyoka. Arashi. Oh well. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh. I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. I really admire you, Kasane. You've only been in real combat for a short time, but you lead everyone so calmly. I think your leadership is what allows me to be so calm in a fight. Now you're just flattering me. I'm glad to help, though. 
If there's anything you want to ask me about, don't hesitate. Nice. <laughs> oh god. Ah. Sorry, my cat just jumped on me. <laughs> she wants so much attention right now. But yeah, I got a little three bombing. I can't stop myself from worrying about you. I'm not a fan of it, honestly, but it's not that bad when it's you. Uh, I can't see. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I pretty much got everybody here, right? Was there anything? Was it? Oh, she turned pink now, too. I guess we can watch this one episode now. There we go. So let me turn this mic off. Asane, are you getting enough rest? Get off. Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Okay, but you're looking unusually disheveled today. I just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? Like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. Hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. And it was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Oh yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type. That's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. It's not the same as your hair clip, but I've been using and improving these earmuffs for a long time. So you can be attached to things too. Is it because you like the way they look? No, it's more pragmatic, pragmatic than that. Those super light earmuffs have great noise reduction. The high performance balancer installed in them makes the strain off my neck too. They are a masterpiece that combines the latest technologies for the great goal of protecting my ears from sound and my neck and shoulders from stiffness. <laughs> you said you weren't really interested in fortune telling, but I found a site that will read your fortune just by putting in your name. Let me tell you what it said, said when I put in your name, Kasane. You'll have medium luck today. You'll learn something unexpected about a friend's past and your bond will deepen. There are signs of bad fitting, so be careful not to fall. That's what it says. It's almost right. I almost tripped back there. 
Well, that's just a coincidence, right? <laughs> I wonder. I can tell you more. I can tell you about more good sites if you want. I'm good. Yeah, I'm ending right here, everybody. There probably is more episodes to view, but I don't know. I'm ending right here. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and see you all next time.